What is up, Planeswalkers? Theric 6, back with some more Magic the Gathering Arena. Be sure to head to flipsidegaming.com and use promo code 6 for 10% off on orders over $10. It's a good deal. It helps support the channel. Now today, we are going to play what what I called in the deck, Nope, Noth of Teferi. <laughs> I, I really enjoyed the uh, the reception to the blue-white Thopter build. How so many people were like uh, appreciative that it was a blue-white deck that utilized Planeswalkers and had control elements, but didn't have Teferi. Um, you know, plenty of people are sick of Teferi. Uh, I'm more or less included in that. I do think Nexus is a little bit more of a problem than Teferi is right now, um, because you can play Nexus decks without playing Teferi. But Teferi was definitely ubiquitous for a time, so I decided to make a super friends list that used Oath of Teferi, because Oath of Teferi is like the reason to use super friends, without actually utilizing Teferi. So, so I really, I really hope you guys like the thumbnail for this video, um, because it just, it's essentially a giant, like, middle finger to Teferi, and it's hilarious. Um, but yeah, so this is meant to be a really fun, just, like, kind of casual deck. Uh, it's not meant to be super good, but I have, I mean, I've gotten, uh, a decent ratio of wins once I actually figured, like, the mana base out and, and everything. So, uh, let's just hop into the the cards we're running uh, a gate package because I found that trying to go with a normal uh, control super friends route it felt less viable than using the gate package and I think a lot of that has to do with gates of blaze circuitous roots and guild summit being such strong contenders for what they want to do you know draw board wipe and ramp so that's why I ended up doing the gate package especially since plaza of harmony is very helpful but we're running three growth spirals to help us uh mitigate a little bit of that slowness to try and make sure we have a uh, consistent draws we're running four guild summit because guild summit is a fantastic draw card when you're running uh a large number of gates i think it's about 15 or so uh three six nine i'm not gonna do math um gates of blaze is just a fantastically scaling board wipe it it kills things early it kills things late it's really helpful circuitous roots allows you to get up to the higher counts of mana, like 6 and uh, 7, which is where the, the glut of our actual cards are, so it, it helps us get to that point. And it also helps us mana fix in a 5-color deck, which is very helpful. Archway Angel is a lot more important in this specific uh, gate build, because instead of utilizing the gates as a uh, a win condition in and of itself to, you know, get uh, super high mana advantage to play the colossus or the ram we really want to survive and the archway angel helps so much with that because we're going to be relatively easy to get to six mana and once we get there we're probably going to be relatively low in life depending on the deck of course that we're against and archway angel is going to pretty much put us back to full almost every time it's a fantastic card for this then uh, i guess we'll just hop into the the random card choices here uh just cutting castaway is really fun with oath of fairy because you're going to be able to plus plus and then next turn minus five uh into plus plus on a bunch of other things um you could also like plus one minus five uh, as well to keep them around but they it just combos really nicely with oath dovin is a, another cheap thing to do it gains you a little bit of life creates doctor it's a fun card so i like it nickel bolas i i refuse to play a planeswalker deck that doesn't include bolas period uh, even if this card is relatively hard to cast because it's three different cards uh three different uh colors sorry it's just, it's just too nice to not have. Uh, Ral is some nice card filtering and removal. We do have a still a, a decent-ish number of instant sorceries with the Growth Spirals, Gates of Blaze, and Circuitous Roots. So, you know, there's a decent chance that we'll have a, a decent minus three on him. But for the most part, he's a nice card draw. Uh, I am running Rakdos. <laughs> because Rakdos is like a panic button, right? If you need to, you can play a Rakdos on a board that otherwise wouldn't be for some reason, uh, dealt with by Gates of Blaze. Let's say your opponent is playing Mono Green and they Carnage Tyrant and then they play a uh, a Branch branch Wood Armor, whatever, uh, on the Carnage Tyrant and make it like a 14-13. Just, just hypothetically, cough, cough, this happened. Uh, then you play Rakdos and you kill their entire board. <laughs> and it's real fun. <laughs> so uh, Rakdos is just it's a nice random card. And we're playing Muldrotha for very similar reasons. We're going to be able to get back our Guild Summits, our Archway Angels, any of our Planeswalkers, even our Oath Fairy. You know, Muldrotha just helped with, with uh, the longevity, so I just, I enjoy it. And Grath, it steals small creatures to kill them, and it pluses to annoy control decks. Very helpful. Uh, if you're able to get Oath of the Fairy down uh, and Angrath against a control deck, it's pretty much GG at that point. Forcing them to lose four life and discard two cards a turn, it's backbreaking. Even if you're not able to, like, 
play any other card for the rest of the game. It's it's very strong. Uh, Karn Titan Urza is fantastic card draw and a fantastic way to create uh, some some nice Karn Strucks to kill your opponent. Vraska Golgari Queen essentially is a nice way to deal with uh, getting like getting rid of our uh, no longer needed gates. Uh, sometimes you'll actually run into having too many guild summits and you don't want to draw a bunch of cards every time you play a gate because of the fact that you're going to have to keep discarding. Uh, so if for some reason you have like all of your gates out, you can sacrifice that uh, to her. Um, or you can just, you know, minus three and uh, destroy a decent amount of things on the field. So it's, it's very helpful for her minus three ability. Tezzeret. He's, I mean, as you saw in, in the last video, he makes he makes Thopters. Being able to make two Thopters a turn or being able to make a Thopter and do a zero ability to draw when you have both a Teferi out is just, it's really nice. Um, and being able to minus nine on him is very strong when you have both a Teferi because you're going to be able to get to it quicker. Um, one of the problems with his minus five is that if you get a chance to do so, you're probably at a point where you've won the game. Uh, but here, since you have the ability to accelerate with Oath of Fairy, uh, it can come out earlier and be a lot more meaningful. Vivian Reed, mostly here for a minus three, to be honest. Uh, you can get rid of really pesky flyers, deal with artifacts and enchantments, cough, cough, excellence binding, um, things like that. Because we don't actually run that many creatures. We do run plenty of lands, so we are going to be able to make use of her plus ability. Uh, but for the most part, uh, it, it's she's here for her ability to minus three. <laughs> Oath of the Fairy, I've talked a bit about it already, but it's just the ability to activate your Planeswalker abilities twice a turn is just backbreaking for your opponent. Even if you only get one turn of doing it, right, that's that's just so much advantage. That's essentially a, an additional turn of advantage from what the Planeswalkers are able to usually give you. Um, for what it's worth, you can also blink out uh, maybe a low-loyalty Planeswalker that's been attacked, um, you can blink out your Plaza of Harmony if you really need some more life gain. And what you usually end up doing is blinking out Guild Summon or Archway Angel to gain more life or to draw more cards. And that, of course, very helpful. Vraska, she kills things and she makes things. She, like, there's, there's no reason to, to talk that much about Vraska because she's the best. Um, this is the mana base that I've, I've come to. And as you might notice, I tried to maximize the blue, red, and green because of these cards here. Um, these are the earlier cards that you're going to be uh, ending up playing, and you're going to want to make sure that you can get those. So every land in the deck is able to make one of those three colors. I don't know if this is, like, the correct thing to do, but that's what I uh, ended up on. And we are playing, what, 25 lands? Yeah. Uh, I've seen plenty of the gate decks, like, even my gate decks ran fewer, um, but for what it's worth, they were playing with a, a smaller uh, average CMC, because of the fact that you had like uh, gate reducing cost mechanics uh, in the gate clauses, uh, you had just like a, a three mana threat in the ram, so there there was not as much of an incentive or a need to play those those larger mana counts. Um, this is I should note that the meta base is very hard for me to do, um, for the style of deck. So you're gonna have kind of bad hands, and this is this is one of those. We have to mulligan that. This is a fine hand, actually, because we have the ability to gates ablaze. The unfortunate thing is we may not have the ability to oath to fairy immediately, um, but this is fine to keep. Um, we are going to drop that guild gate because we have we have what we need essentially um, in terms of our ability to, you know, get the gates advantage. We just need to actually draw, like a planes to play our oath. So up against. Potentially the defender deck. Drew a few too many plazas, but uh, it is going to give us a decent life buffer, buffer I think. No, it might actually just be a artifact enchantment deck, maybe? Alright, that is helpful. So we can play this, and then next turn we can go and Gates of Blaze for three. Could have, you know, could have played plaza now to kill this, but, you know, this wouldn't die, so. Figured, figured there's no necessary need. All right, cool. We're gonna wipe their board and have a uh, have a decent uh, life total. Um, I guess I don't need to plaza of harmony right now. Yeah, I think I think it's probably just better to gate to place. Mm, just please. We do need to uh, to start drawing more cards, <clears throat> but that that's why uh, guild summit is so good because it, it doesn't matter when you have it, as if. I'm some sort of Nostradamus. I draw the card I was talking about. Um, so luckily, Guild Summit, it doesn't really matter when you draw it because you get advantage when it comes into play from tapping your, your gates. And 
every gate I play from now on is going to have that advantage, which is very helpful. Um, so what I'm probably going to end up doing, based of course on what my opponent plays, is play out of Raska to, you know, destroy one of the creatures, and then the following turn, Oath of Teferi. So I do think that's technically a better line. If my opponent does nothing, I might Oath of Teferi first, but yeah. So Higher Magic's Cage is something I can get rid of. I can Vraska down this Higher Magic's Cage, and I won't really be in a tough spot. I could also Vivian read it down, but to be mana efficient, I'm going to go ahead and Vraska. I'm going to tell that cage to uh, go away. Oh no, I don't have things to tap. That's fine. So I want you guys to settle a dispute uh, that I had with, uh, with my girlfriend Abigail. I'm not going to say, you know, whose position is whose, or who, whom's, I don't know. But... If you put a season on rice, a, a seasoning on rice, what is more likely for you to put on there? Salt or pepper? Um, you can't you can't choose both. Uh, that's fine. Um, if you had to choose one, and of course not everyone puts either of these on rice. Um, some people have uh, you know flavored rices and things like that. Um, but if you were to put something on there, what would it be? So let me know in the comments down below your your views on this because I said one thing, she said the other, and we were both this was this was definitely like the the is a hot dog a sandwich argument. We were both like baffled that the other existed, right? Uh, so yeah, really curious to see uh, to see that I'm right. <laughs> oh, I messed up my tapping. Whoops, darn! I could have I could have gotten a card draw out of that. I I made a mistake there. That that was a my bad. It in the long run it shouldn't matter too much. I assume that's gonna hit Vraska. Yep. But unfortunately for you, I have Vivian Reed. So I can Vivian minus and then plus. It's very helpful. Another oh, these are legendary, so be sure you don't play them out together. I don't know if you if you do play another one, if you like reset the um the planeswalker abilities. I think you do, but uh, I'm not entirely sure, so you know cough cough, don't quote me on that. Um But I believe that works. <laughs> Get that out of here. Uh it's 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 just so nice seeing these two work together like that, protecting each other from harm. Come to me. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take this archway angel. Yeah, now I'm taking Rakdos. <laughs> and the reason I'm taking Rakdos isn't because my opponent does have a board that I'm scared of. I'm taking Rakdos because it's Rakdos. No Alright, so next turn I can plus 2 and then minus 10. Fight them, you and then my opponent is probably super screwed. So. I could, I could go into ranked mode with this. I don't like the idea because it's it's like the start of the season, right? If this were like near near to like mid season, I think I think I'd be more inclined to uh, to take it into rank. But since it's the start of the season, I assume people are making that like early mad dash to get to the higher ranks. And I... Oh, okay. Um, and I don't I don't want to. Um... Ah, I fudged. I fudged it. <laughs> it's fine. I'm just gonna kill him with his own with his own. Prodigious growth. Oh, you know what? I should play Rakdos anyway. No one knows the wilds like I do. All right, fine. I guess I will. Um, yes, yeah, so we'll go and play the steps, and we're gonna cast Rakdos. <laughs> Win for my entire board to go away. <laughs> nice. <sighs> mm. I I did make a mistake. My opponent should be dead, but in order to appease you guys. Um, I played Rakdos. I should, I should, wait. Was I saying something? Oh, right. Yeah, so I figured I would just run into a bunch of mono-red aggro. So that's why I'm not playing ranked right now. Um, I mean, this deck isn't necessarily fit for ranked. Um, in that it's meant to be a super casual deck. But, you know, it, I think it would get trash, uh, too often. So, uh, right. But I've been getting a decent number of comments about my 
like plays. <laughs> nice, the target. Uh, I mean, my opponent's sticking around. They're playing along. I, I appreciate that. I'm going to kill them with just Rakdos. You know, good game, man. GG. Um, about, about, you know, like missing plays and things like that. I try my best to, you know, make good plays. And when I do make misplays, I tend to realize it relatively quickly. Obviously, that doesn't happen all of the time. But I do tend to notice it immediately. And, you know, I try to talk about the, the misplay. And I try to, you know, mention how it may change the game state, um, how important of a misplay it is, uh, how you can... Well, that's an interesting game. How you can modify that so it doesn't happen anymore. Uh, this is a bad hand. But, you know, it doesn't always work out perfectly. Um, this is not great, but it's potentially fine. Gotta get rid of that. Because we do have a few turns to draw into more mana. Of course, uh, our opponent... Oh, okay, cool. And that is very helpful. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and... Play this tapped, because we don't need to play anything just yet. But the reason this is helpful is because, if nothing else, we will be able to play Gates of Blaze. Um, so here... I mean, I could pay two mana to... Or, pay two life to Growth Spiral. But it's not really necessary. Because I can just... Like, what I'd be doing is playing the Circuitous Routes next turn anyway. So, luckily for me, my opponent uh, seems to be having a slow hand as well. So, let's see. We have one white and one blue. I'd like another blue. We have plenty of red, plenty of black. I'd like a blue-green. I think blue-green would give me... And then, let's go white-green as well, I suppose. Yeah, seems seems reasonable. Gives me two white, two blue, uh, three black, two red and three green. Seems decent. So at any moment, I can uh, Gates of Blaze for a decent amount. Don't really need to deal with that. I think I'm just going to rack those here. I mean, it's not the best, but who cares? It, I mean, it blocks that. Darn. <laughs> but for what it's worth, it does block that. Uh, let's see, how big is... One, two, three, four... Oh, actually, I only have four Gate Gates out right now. Huh, alright. Incredibly rude. My good sir. Ow. Alright, Guild Summit is nice. Gonna go ahead and do this. And I'm, I'm not under enough duress to care a bunch about this. And yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna draw for it. Cool, cool. Get another guild gate, play the guild gate, draw a card. And then next turn we can go ahead and gate to blaze, most likely be able to deal with their board. Uh, and probably play out of Jace, I suppose. Sure. Uh, that's six. I, I should be able to deal with that. We've got four, five, yeah, six. Okay. So I'll go ahead and play the Gruel Guild Gate, draw a card, play a Gate to Blaze. Uh, one, two... I guess I can actually play Growth Spiral first, right? One, two, three... And still be able to play Jace, yeah. And we'll go ahead and play this out. See, now, now the cards are coming coming fast. Alright, so we kill that, and we play out of Jace. We are relatively low in life, but we have two Archway Angels. And a large number of gates, so we should be fine. We were lucky that our opponent uh, did sort of stumble, but we should be fine. Um, yeah, I'm just going to keep playing gates. I could play Guild Summit first. But I'd rather see what I draw. Alright, Circuitous Roots. I'll go ahead and plus here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, so we can Circuitous Roots and play Archway Angel. Um, but we do this first because we want to see what we draw. And let's go ahead and plop these down. This deck just chugs through cards so easily. Um, a part of me likes Bolus here a little bit better. But I think I think the correct answer is just 
Archangel. Just to make sure that we're fine. Right? Like, we're at 31 now. Um, we, we should be more or less completely safe. I have no idea if I finished talking about the, the misplay thing, but... Eh. So, yeah, it looks like my opponent is just on a, uh, a green-white enchantment list. I, f I feel like I should make this style of deck. I think it's... I think it is... You know, fun and interesting. They should have attacked Chase. Uh, I, I have such a life buffer that there's like no way I'm blocking that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and Plaza of Harmony. I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, wait. Oh, yeah, I, I should have. Um, I should have probably drawn cards first. Because I could have gotten Oath of Teferi, but that's fine. This should distract you. Uh, we'll go ahead and play Nickel Bolas. We can flip Bolas like immediately. And I'm going to because it's Bolus. And then I'm gonna go and kill My power that. Thank you very much. Respect. And I guess at this point I'll go ahead and play Guild Summit. And then I start drawing a ridiculous amount of cards next turn. Let's think this through. Start getting a large number of Jaces out. Let's try this. Should be good. No decks. I'm gonna go and protect my walkers. Carl! Carl! I told you to stay away from the walkers! I can't, I can't do a, uh, a Sheriff Grimes. That's his name? Grimes? No idea what. Of course, it's the, the next one there. So we're gonna go ahead and do this. We're gonna bounce our Archangel. We could've attacked first. I, I don't care. <laughs> Attacking first is not gonna necessarily make me win the game, so we can go ahead and plus. It's a matter of give and take. And we're gonna go ahead and plus. There is always an answer. And then we're gonna go to minus. <laughs> this is this is exactly what I was talking about with uh with Jace and Oath of Teferi. Look, I have four Jaces now. And then I plus both of these to five. Or all of these to five. And plus. <laughs> and plus. You know, I'm not gonna plus all of them to five. I'll go ahead and set some a couple of them to two so I can have an actual an actual board. Decisions, decisions, decisions. decisions. So many chases. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it so much. All right, well, two five, five chases and, and two two chases. Um, I guess I'm going to draw two cards. This, that's a large number of cards. Uh, let us go ahead and... Uh, is there anything that I want to steal? I could put I could put Jace back. You know what? I don't want to draw that many cards, so we're going to go ahead and put Jace back on the field. <laughs> oh my god, I could have, for what it's worth, I definitely could have, uh, stolen their Shalai, and it likely would have been a better play, but I don't, I don't really care. My, I mean, my opponent has lost the game. They're not playing Star of Extinction in this deck, so I don't think there's anything that I can do. For what it's worth, this deck is kind of, a uh, not nice. <laughs> Because of the fact that uh, we are we are playing a bunch of mythics, um, I can't play her. So what I'm gonna do is uh, pay two life for this and then uh, play her, and I'm gonna be at above fifty life. Ah, that's nice. Sixty six. Yep, I'm I'm Satan. Just throw throw an additional six in there somewhere. Oh, we have so many Jakes from State Farm. There's the hot Jace, too. Oh, opponent, I'm sorry for this. I'm going to have an overwhelming number of Jaces. Oh, gosh. All right. That was a plus. Uh, where's, where's my six Jace? Where's my six Jace? There it is. Half of my turn is just making other Jaces. Oh god. Alright, and I'll plus this one. Oh god! Look at the stack of Jaces! Oh god, uh, alright, uh, we're gonna start, we're gonna 
gonna start plusing these Jaces. I like actually can't attack now because I would absolutely kill myself. Uh, I should I I should have attacked first. That is uh that is incredibly true. Let's try that was definitely an oops on my part. I should not have attacked. Uh, what what's what's in here? Fucking gate to blaze. Uh, what's minus two Karn? You know we're just gonna double minus two Karn. I don't. I have another Karn in my hand. I don't care. Uh, let's let's plus two bolus. And let's uh let's plus two bolus. I guess <laughs> twenty three cards left. Ah, oh, fudge. All right. Uh. <laughs> Plus one. This come in oh, you guys can. At this point, you can probably skip ahead in the video to the next game. <laughs> I want, I want everyone who's still watching me make Jaces. I want, I want you to let me know in the comments somehow. It's a matter of give and take. Um. All right, how many how many Jaces can? Oh, okay, so I'm gonna make I'm gonna make four of them five drops. Uh, can I activate this, please? Um, I can't I can't activate Jace. I can I can activate some of the like. All right, we're gonna throw Vraska in there to see if she'll help this problem, but I can't activate the Jaces anymore. Your life's about to end. Hope you're ready. Okay, can I sacrifice one of my Jaces in the stack in order to? Use my Jaces. I, I, the, all right, I have broken the game. I can no longer use Jace, so that is a thing. I I can I cannot attack. There are way too many of these. I would die. Uh, I also don't want to draw any more cards from uh, the Guild Summit, so I'm just gonna throw that in there tapped. Um, I'm gonna fail to find with this. Eh, there we go. Twenty cards left. Um, can I, can I please use this? Alright, well, let's see if we sack, a, sack another J, see if that lets us... Yes! Okay, cool. Alright, note to self. Eight Jaces in a single stack are not, are not good. So we're gonna make three Jaces at five, and two of them we're gonna, it's a matter of we're gonna put down to two. So that next turn, we can just Alpha Strike our opponent, because I'm I'm certain that they're just humoring me. No attacks. I would legitimately die. Uh, I'm not even going to block. <laughs> Uh, all right. First things first. I am going to just alt these to make more Jaces to see how many Jaces I have at the end of this game. Uh, I did. I did miss out on. I think two Jaces because I'm a failure, but it should be fine. All right. So six, seven, eight, nine. So I should have about eleven Jaces. We're gonna go ahead and attack. <laughs> Oh, opponent, I'm sorry for putting you through this. <laughs> but it's what the viewers want to see. <laughs> I'm sorry. Right, you know what? We'll, we'll go ahead and play a ranked game, because I think it'll actually be fast, because we're probably just going to die. Well, that was interesting. Yeah, I think it's reasonable to hop into into ranked mode. Just uh, just this once. Let's see how well Noth of Teferi does in uh, legit competition. I the the reason I say that, even though the ranks reset and I actually haven't played ranked mode yet, is at least in Hearthstone, my experience was that early on in the the rank downs, people are just like climbing with whatever it is is the fastest to win with. So this is a bad hand. This is a fine hand. It's not great. It's fine. The Archway Angels will probably help. Um, Guild Summit's also a decent card to have. Uh, yeah, I think that's fine, I guess. We're not going to be able to gain life uh, off the plaza, so that is unfortunate. But I'm kind of banking on the Guild Summits and the Archways to help me out. That does mean I need to draw more uh, Guild Gates, but... So I assume this is some form of Drake's. 
Is it a Grixis? I c it could be Grixis Control, but I don't think Grixis Control runs very many mountains. Yeah, okay, yeah. This is this is likely Drake's then. We have another plaza, so that's decent, I suppose. At this point, you know, any land is helpful because it gets us closer to Vivian. Uh, for what it's worth, plaza can't tap for green right now, so. So we do need to be pretty careful because this is a very bursty deck. We want to make sure we don't die out of nowhere. Luckily, they're, they're just still in the setup phase. Very helpful, right there. Incredibly helpful. Nicobolus, decent. We do need a way to make black. But uh, next turn, we can go and play Plaza of Harmony uh, in order to Vivian Reed to get, you know, some, some more land to start playing the rest of our hand. So, you know, it's a decent keep. Would we be dead against uh, aggro? Almost certainly. I think that kind of goes without saying. Um, and at this point, I do have to Vivian to minus three to kill that, so... We do gain some life from that, though, which is helpful. Uh, Vivian will possibly die to shock. But we do still have access to Growth Spiral if that does happen, so... It's not too bad. I'd love to see one of my black gates so that I can play out Bolus. It would also draw me cards, so it looks like Vivian is not long for this world. Yep, that is totally fine with me. Utilizing resources in a non-bursty way. Enigma Drake, sure, sure. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and Growth Spiral. And I'm going to Growth Spiral using these. No, I guess I'll Growth Spiral using just that and the Temple Garden. I think that's reasonable. Um, Gates of Blaze deals 1-2 damage, because these are not gates. That is awkward. Alright, I'd like to draw land. That is land, thank you. It's a land that doesn't help that much, but it is land. And we are running a large number of gates. But... I did feel I needed to run a, a not total amount of gates because I did need to be able to play things on. Could could definitely be an issue that uh, needs working out, but... So now at this point, I need them to not have... Like, I need to draw... Okay, so a gate. Very helpful here. Draws me a card. I can play Archway Angel and lock and gain some life. Because Gates of Blaze doesn't kill them just yet. One, two, three, no. Um, so I can Archway Angel... Hope it doesn't get countered. Gain a little bit more life in order to survive a bit. All right, cool, cool. And this plops us all the way back up to 23, so that's very helpful. And I probably will just, like, you know, sack it uh, if it doesn't die to, a, like, a lava coil or something. Probably just throw it in as a chump blocker, but looks like it is dead. Yep. yep. Um, so next turn... So I will need... A gate. I will need to draw a gate in order to gate to blaze and and kill these these drakes. So hopefully I'm able to get that, but... They're playing with the wrong opt. Even though the other opt has to ferry on it. I just... I don't love this pirate. So I'm gonna dome for a bit here. Yeah, house. Down to seven. Um... Does this work? This does work. As long as my opponent doesn't counter it. Don't you dare counter this. Don't do it to me. Alright, cool. Um, so, what do we need? We have plenty of white. We could use a little bit more black, but along with that... Black-blue, I guess. So, black-blue. And let's go with black-green as well. And we'll draw some cards. Our Gates of Blaze is decently powerful. Not super powerful, but decently powerful. Um, let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five. So even if we played this, we wouldn't be able to kill a, um, a, what is the, what is the word I'm looking for? Dive downed Drake. So we have to hope that not only this resolves, which it isn't, um, but we also needed them to not die. So, yeah, kind of as I expected. We were going to die there. Uh, the mana base is kind of what screwed us there. But, you know, yeah. Not, not entirely sure. Uh, one thing, one question that I do have for you guys is do you want to see me play the competitive metagame challenge? Uh, the reason I, I'm curious is I mean, this I would be playing a competitive deck. Like, 
a specific one. And like I could even do uh, a vote. Uh, I've I've really been loving the engagement you guys have had on my uh, on like my non video posts. Uh, I really appreciate the feedback. It's very helpful. Um, but I could do like a vote there where I just pick you know some number of quote unquote top decks from recent events uh, and see what you guys want to see. But let me know let me know in the comments if this is something that you actually want to see or if it's just like it's it's too uh, competitive uh, in general for you guys. So I, I mean I figure I figure I'd ask. So just always getting gems. Um, yeah, so I'd like to thank my lovely patrons for their continued support. If you'd like to join them and support the channel, find links to that in the description down below, along with links to my Discord server where we chat and play games, and my Aetherup account where you can find all of my deck lists. Um, I do hope that you enjoyed this video. If you, excuse me, if you do, go ahead and tap that like button, add a subscription to your mana pool, and cast a comment in the comment section down below. And until next time, I will be one.